What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Before we go any further, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. I'm going to wait for a second. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm going to make sure y'all are getting on it, man. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, though. In today's video, we're just going to be talking about who are some of y'all's like influences. I mean, I'm just going to touch on a few of mine. I, uh, I mean, it's funny. I don't think I ever really considered locks for myself. But, you know, they say hindsight is always 2020. Looking back on it, some of the people who were stylistically the biggest influences for me earlier in my life are people who had locks. You know what I mean? And I never even really put two and two together. I never really thought about it that way. I think if I look back, the earliest recollection, the earliest memory that I can have of a person with dope locks that I looked up to was, and I hope I'm not confusing times because I know at one point she had locks, but I don't remember whether or not what I'm thinking about were locks or braids. And so if what I'm thinking about were braids at the time and locks later, then my fault. <laughs> But I don't think I'm wrong. I mean, and I know y'all will correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, Lisa Bonet. I mean, I remember her character on the Cosby show, Denise Hudson, was probably, well, not, not even a probably. She was the earliest memory that I have of looking at a person on TV feeling like they're the dopest person I've ever seen in my life. You know what I mean? And it wasn't even like a crush thing. I think it probably maybe developed into that a little bit later as I got into my teenage years. I probably had a little teenage crush on her or whatever. But I don't think early in life it wasn't a crush thing. It was just a man, she's cool kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like I can remember looking at her character just in the way that she dressed and just the way that she carried herself. As she got a little bit older, the, you know, some of the places that she hung out. And I just felt like she was the coolest person I had ever seen in my life. I mean, like easy, not even close. <laughs> like to this day, it's not close. I haven't seen a character on television or in a movie or anything that oozes the level of effortless cool that she did. You know what I mean? And that struck a chord with me. Like it really, really did. And like I said, it wasn't as though I wanted to, to, to emulate her. I mean, in terms of like locks and things like that, but I feel like she was one of the people who I looked at and said she's a risk taker. And not even necessarily a risk taker because I think when you're a person who kind of does your own thing anyway, you don't look at anything that you do as taking a risk because you're just being yourself. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like she was the epitome of a person who was comfortable in their own skin. And I didn't know it at the time. Like I say, these are thoughts that I'm having now that I can look back on and make sense of. You know what I mean? Like I can look back on the way that I thought then and say, okay, because I knew that I felt that way. I just didn't know how to put it into words other than to say that I felt she was cool. But yeah, I feel like the fact that she was supremely comfortable in her own skin and didn't come with a set of, uh, you know, Missions or a level of self consciousness that a lot of people carry. She just didn't have that. So, yeah, man, Lisa Bonet slash Denise Huxtable was definitely one of the early style influences. Secondly, there was a show that was an offshoot of the Cosby Show, and it was it was called A Different World. For those of y'all who don't know. And it was initially going to be an offshoot of the Cosby show. And it was going to be Denise's, you know, life as a college student. And for season one, the storylines were structured that way. But season two, they decided to, uh, Denise or, or Lisa Bonet decided to go in a completely different direction career-wise. Instead of slashing the show, some of the characters... Uh, popularity started to take off a little bit and so they decided to build the show around there was a character named Dwayne Wayne played by Kadeem Hardison 
and there was a character named Willie Gilbert, played by Jasmine Guy. They decided to kind of build the show around their relationship and around their friends uh, relationships and all of their friendships and things like that. And they turned the college, human college, into a historically bad college. And I mean, the show just kind of took off from there. But I say all that to say, there was a character that they introduced in like season three, I think, three or four, named Shaza Zulu, played by Gary Gordon. And this brother here, man, he had these really long, flowy, he was a, I don't want to say Rastafarian type, but he was, he was that guy on the, on, a, on, on the college campus that is always just chilling in the quad, you know what I mean? Super cool, seems like he's been there for, as a student for like 10 years, but I mean, cause, cause he has all of the knowledge and I mean, all of the, you know, he just, he seems like that kind of dude. Like they, they, they kind of tried to introduce him that way. It's just being like really, really cool. He would always wear the daishikis with the long dreads and he was stylish in a whole nother way. And I looked at him not quite the same way as I looked at Denise, but dude, like I looked at that dude right there, it was just like, yo, son, like he is, he is the epitome of sort of Afro-Caribbean style, you know what I mean? Like I loved everything about him, like I did, I really, really did. It's funny, like for me, locks were never a thing in terms of my, uh, personal life because I didn't know it I didn't know too many guys who had locks and the ones that I did weren't vocal about their passion for having them so it's something that never really took up roots in me because of the fact that it, was, it never really resonated you know on a personal level but looking back on it I feel like a lot of the choices and a lot of the things that I was trying to do were directly influenced by Denise and, and uh, Shaza, you know what I mean? Because of the fact that, like I said, they to me were the epitome of cool. One just style, carnet, I guess you could say, and then the other just the epitome of male Afro-Caribbean style meets confidence, meets swag, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then he had the light colored eyes like me, so felt this sort of kinship <laughs> and it sounds it sounds weird saying it but I don't know I just I kind of felt that because for me that's one of the first things that people notice about me and my eyes and so I was able to notice that about him and I just sort of felt like a, a light-eyed brotherhood <laughs> you know what I mean and that probably sounds silly to say but yeah like if, if I'm being honest you know what I mean I just kind of kind of felt that way about him so yeah, them two men really, really stuck out at a young age. And then probably my third, well, not probably, definitely my third, you know, influence lock-wise is, you know, the GOAT. I mean, Bob Marley. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not even a question. That's easy. And, and there's probably people who have longer locks. There's probably people who have thicker locks, uh, you know. But for me, when I think of locks, and it's probably the case with a lot of other people for a lot of different reasons, but when I think of locks, Bob Marley's the first person that pops into my head. And I don't just think of the really, really long ones because I've seen pictures and videos and stuff like that. First off, I'm a really big Bob Marley fan, but I've seen pictures and videos of him like from the starter lock phase, when he had like just like a, a really short, like kind of kind of you know, fro, and then he decided to go with the locks until they got sort of medium length, shoulder length, and then like when they got long, you know what I mean? And so for me, like I said, when I think about locks, treads, tread locks, I think about Bob Marley. I mean, like it's not even a question. Bob Marley's the goat. Period. End of discussion. I don't care what any of y'all say. You can leave your comments down below. You can, you know what I mean? You can hit me with anybody else. Bob Marley is the lot goat. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like I say, and his sons, 
yeah, they've taken the mantle. You know what I mean? Damien's or, 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 or all the way down to his feet, probably. You know what I mean? And then there's a lot of other people within the Rastafarian community who have super, super dope locks. But the total package of cool and locks, Bob Marley, hands down, easy, end of discussion, period. No discussion to be had. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody, you can't argue me on that one. You can try, but you're not gonna sway my sway my opinion at all. You know what I'm saying? Because Bob Marley, like I say, I can't even really go into. I, I can't give an explanation because it's it is it's just it's one of those things where it is what it is. Like period. You know what I mean? I don't need to justify why or you know what I mean. His his locks were more. More, you know, more developed or you know, moisturized when you get into the science no, none of that Bob Marley, period look up the picture, go to Pinterest, Bob Marley you don't even have to type in Bob Marley locks just type in Bob Marley and those pictures pop up and you're like hoo -hoo. yeah, he's right <laughs> so yeah man, Bob Marley uh, Gary Dorton and uh, Bob Mar Gary Dorton slash Shaza Zulu Denise Huxtable slash Lisa Renee, you know what I mean? Easily, easily, not even a question. The three biggest influences for me, you know, in terms of people that I can look back on and say, I won't say that I was influenced by their locks because I wasn't being honest, but I look up to their locks. I look, you know, to them as being the people who were the epitome of what lock style yeah, man. Just wanted to drop y'all a really quick video. Feel free to leave your comments down below if you agree with me on everybody but Bob Marley. I'm willing to, I'm willing to talk about it. I'm willing to hear you out. <laughs> I'm willing to change my mind if you can hit me with the right person or right people. But Bob Marley, nah, you, you're not, you're not, you're not influencing me in any way, shape, or form when it comes to that brother. So, but yeah, thank y'all for tuning in to the channel. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't hit that thumbs up. Leave, leave the video a like if you like it. And uh, leave comments down below too. And like I say, you, you can always also hit me on the IG page at Steph's Locks. And um, yeah, thank y'all again. And until next time, peace. <laughs>